did I do with my honey? I know I stashed it around here somewhere. Hello folks and welcome to another reputized video. Christopher Robin, starring Aaron McGregor and Haley Atwell, is a live-action Disney pick of Winnie the Pooh. So basically, Christopher Robin, played by Aaron McGregor, is all grown up. He, he's forgotten all about his friends, and he's got a family. So the movie follows with Winnie the Pooh trying to find his friends. And he makes his way into our dimension, or through a tree to our dimension, however you want to put it. And he tries to find his friends, and they get reunited. Him and uh, Christopher Robbins, who's, I assume, about 30, 36, 37 in this movie. Fantastic. You'll love this movie, especially if you're a Wendy the Pooh fan or has grew up with the series like I have. For any of you who've seen the original series, who grew up on it, or still watches it, it is definitely worth it. I'm telling you guys. This movie does not rely heavily on CGI at all. When you look at the animals at the puppets, they actually look like puppets. Winnie, Eeyore, Tigger, Piglet, ev all of them. They don't look cheesy at all. They look real. And it was a fun family movie that you could bring the kids to. The messages in there was pointed more for adults, like, uh, you know, never put work above family and stuff like that. You know, some of the jokes was for the kids, but it was mostly pointed towards adults. But it's still a really good kid-friendly movie. The acting in it was just pure. Haley Atwell's performance was just gold. She she brought she brought something special to it as the wife. And of course, Aaron McGregor, he played a perfect Christopher Robbins growing up, of course. The music by Geoff Zanelli and John Brion was just fantastic. And I noticed there's a couple scenes in there where they cleverly fit the Winnie the Pooh series theme in it. So I thought that was a nice touch. It was well edited, well pieced together. The story, like I said, wasn't really for kids. Even though some of the jokes, yeah, they did fit uh, fit in a lot of jokes in there for the kids. But mostly it was aimed for the adults. Especially the story. And like I said, the message was just well written. Like, you know, there's more important things out there than money and work. It was very lighthearted. You, you get really touched by some of the scenes in this. The story, the music, the, the cinematography. I mean, it's even funny at times for all ages. The voices for the puppets, for the animals, was just, it, it sounded so much like the original series. I'm not kidding. I, I, yeah, I could have swore I was watching an actual Winnie the Pooh episode. I mean, I was, I was like this the whole time. The only negatives I have about this, and they didn't really need to make it like this, the lighting in it was just kind of gloomy. And it, it it gave it that really dreary feel when it really didn't need to. Especially with the animals. Especially with Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore and all them. It wasn't lit up like the series was. I didn't really feel like that was necessary. But other than that, it was a good family friendly movie. I honestly enjoy myself and I'm one that doesn't really go for movies like this. That's saying something. The whole movie is set in London and it was it was a good atmosphere. The 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 real characters, the people characters in there was just everybody just did an excellent job. Mark Forrester's direction was just grand. It was it was well directed. All in all, it, it's it's just awesome. It's a really good fun family type friendly movie. I know I've said that a billion times. I want to make sure I get that cleared. I'm going to give Christopher Robin an A-. minus. Check out for my review for The Meg, coming soon, starring Jason Statham. I'm really excited about that one. Like, subscribe, and get reputized on so many different levels. Peace to rip out.